attention. Let's get this idiot's attention. Put it over to Yadi Yadi. Don't call me out there. Y'all make some noise for the T.O.B. band. And listen, I got somebody that want to come speak to y'all. Her name is Laura from Shutdown, D.C. But before I let Laura get on the mic while we're here, no justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. Let me you say fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Man, we brought Mochella all the way uptown. For y'all that don't know, normally if you come on out to Mochella, I make you say Mochella, so guess what time it is? Let me hear y'all say Mochella! Mochella. If y'all didn't know, my name is Yadi Yadi, founder of the Long Live Go Go. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman, we're here to let them know we want them to bring back the joy of delivering the mail, you know what I'm saying? I can't even sell shirts or nothing online, because you know what I'm saying? The mail not even get reaching y'all, you see what I'm saying? So I know that's affecting a lot of small businesses. I know it's affecting a lot of people when it's time to vote right now in November to get this asshole out of office. So I told Patrick it's only right that I stand in solidarity with him and let this asshole know it's no justice, no peace. So I brought my boys to T.O.B. Band and show out here. Make some noise for them one more time, please. Also, let me hear you make some noise if you love your mother out here. Make some noise if you love your mother. <laughs> And I love the diversity, you know what I'm saying? Because there is no community without unity. And that's what this shit right here shows when we can come out and bring it to the asshole's houses. We on his ass, Mr. Postman. Let me hear you say, we on your ass, Mr. Postman. No justice. And while the cops out here, let's not let them forget that we're still on their ass too. It is, their, it is their job to protect us, sir, so we appreciate the escort, but we know they're keeping a close eye on us, you know what I'm saying? So we helping them know, we helping them realize that the power is truly in the people. Let me hear you say power to the people. Power to the people. Now stick your goddamn fists up before we say power to the people. Let me hear you say power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Say his name. I don't know that. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. She said, fuck Trump. So one last time, put your goddamn middle finger in the air. It's like a goddamn wrestling show right now. WWE. And yada yada says so. Let me hear you say, fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Now let me hear you welcome Lord to the stage from Shutdown DC.
time propel me to be up here and share my voice with y'all, to share my experience with y'all, man. Thank you each and every one of you listening. Everybody who's out here, thank you so much, man. My name is Stephanie. I'm with the Palm Collective. And before I got here, let me tell y'all, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. It's hard not to go to Memphis, y'all. It's hard not, y'all. It's a hard living. That's a hard growing up. I went to university in Memphis. I came to Washington, D.C. The Postal Service hired me out of school. I was on my last. When I said my last, y'all, I'm not lying to you. I was on my last. And the Postal Service gave me that opportunity. That was in 2011. They gave me an opportunity to shine. And for eight years, I worked at the Postal Service headquarters, LaFont Plaza. I started as an intern. I worked my way up. I worked my way through different positions. I met some amazing people. And let me tell you, this is what's happening at the Postal Service. Is, it, it breaks my heart, y'all, because I know the people who go in there every day to deliver your mail. Two actions that we live by. You don't mess with people's mail. You don't steal money. You don't steal the mail. If a carrier got sick and you at the post office, the postmaster will get in that personal car and drive around and finish that route and deliver the mail. It's serious, y'all. They take your mail serious. They cherish your mail. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They cherish your mail. That's this point we land on, y'all. It's a lot of black people like myself who came up out the hood because of the postal service giving us that opportunity. Giving us that opportunity, y'all. And they been getting at the postal service since 2006. Since 2006, they've been trying to privatize the post office. It's systematic. The first thing that they did was pass a PIA, Postal Accountability and Electability Act. What they did was make us have to pre-fund our health care benefits 75 years in advance. No other company, no other government agency ever had to do anything like that. That would cost us an extra $5 billion a year. And that's when the Postal Service started losing money. They did it on purpose. This was under Bush when this happened. And Obama, I love him, but y'all, he didn't do much either when he was in there for the Postal Service. I gotta keep it on it. So now we got Trump and he's on the last one he's trying to dismantle it. Listen, the, the Senate, the, the House just passed legislation, y'all. Y'all gotta hit up y'all people. Hit up your officials, hit up your legislators and let them know.
I'm doing like that, man. That's my favorite group right here. 